prepare for unending ecstasy and eternal pleasure. So yeah, welcome back again with step 3 of our Emperor's Children's Dreadnought Painting Guide from Forge World. Uh, what I have been doing since our last visit, uh, I have painted Calvin Brown on golden part here, which is the Slanesh symbol, you can see here, and going up there and here. And I painted the uh, bullet streaks here in, uh, in brown in the middle and uh, and the upper upper thingy of the bullet. So the actual bullet which goes away is silver, but the, it's called dispense shell, which uh, gonna end up on the ground next to the model, is uh, painted in gold, or or it's gonna be painted in gold. Also, the little symbol here I painted in, uh, in bolt gun metal, also known as uh, lead belcher. Lead belcher. Um, uh, as I finally saw in the picture, what, what it was supposed to be. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, and also I painted up the islands in first ice blue, followed up with. Uh, a Sherman blue, uh, which is a old wash color. You can see it too good right now, but it's there. I promise you. It's also seen here on the crystal thingy in the Spanishy symbol. I'm gonna try and uh, fix that up with some uh, ice blue or something. See how that's gonna work out. Then we have the skull, which has been painted in. Bleached bone, which is the same as the demon head here, and the eyes. I first started out with uh, a Sherman blue uh, to get in the deep corners. Then I painted the eyes in ice blue. Uh, I did it the opposite. Uh, otherwise, I usually start with ice blue and then continue with a Sherman blue after that. So I did a opposite thingy there. I've also painted the islands on the the arm. It looks uh, you can see it more clearly than the heavy bolter, twin linked heavy bolter. And also I've done it here on this islands. Also I've painted red here on the missile pods and on the smoke grenades. So for step 4 I'm gonna be painting Fenrisian Grey on the ground, on the base of the model, as you can see here. I'm gonna be painting Shining Gold on the, the golden parts, which I've started up in the previous step with Kelvin Brown. I'm gonna be using Ogren uh, Flesh on the skull parts or the, where I painted the bleach bone and then I'm gonna move on to Nond Oil which I'm gonna be painting on all the metallic parts and on, uh, on a small scale on also the bone parts and then I'm gonna be applying skull white on several small areas like the the eyes, the, the eye lenses, and the small crystal thingy on the inside this in the Slaneshi mark. Uh, 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 yeah, and one last but I forgot to mention. The back of the head, I painted the, the bumpy pipe parts in metallics and the smooth. Uh, Pipe thing is in red, so you won't forget that. Uh, this uh, session has been recorded on the 18th of February 2013. So uh, now you know what you, I'm gonna do in the next step. So see you in a second. My prison burns itself.
So yeah, welcome back to step 4 of this painting guide. Uh, it is today the 21st of February 2013. Uh, so what have I been doing uh, on this model? First of all, I have fixed up the gold on the Slanesi mark and on the skull right beneath the head of the model. And I've also applied gold here on the uh, power fist on, the, on, on his left arm. Uh, let's see if I can move this. Yes. And I painted gold on the heavy bolter shells, as you can see here in the middle and on the upper uh, upper part of the shells. Um, yep. Yeah. And I have also been painting. The sh spent shells here on the ground has been painted gold as well. Uh, let's see here, move this around. Uh, I have also applied white thin marks around the edges so the pink won't look too uh, flat to say so. I'm trying to make, give it a more 3D perspective was it to say so. Uh, I have also uh, painted white uh, on the several of the black areas like for instance here and here on the skull of the left foot and, and, and on the upper part of the legs you have some uh, kind of uh, see here this here you can see there are some kind of sharp thingy uh, those have also painted uh, small white uh, things on the edges um, then I have uh, then, then I have uh, used on green uh, flesh on the skulls and on the Demon, screaming demon heads on his heavy bolter and I've also painted ice blue on the eyes and then I filled in with a Sherman blue uh, which, which is a wash in the deep corners of the eyes and then I applied a very small white dot uh, as uh, eyelid uh, or as a pupil on the eyes and you can see here also on the upper air uh, added a small white part as well. Yeah, so uh, and I also applied Ogrim flesh on the on the back uh, on the ex exhaustion pipes here. I, sh I should note to you guys that uh, this model has yet to be glued together yet, so that's why it looks a bit uh, leaning on the back so it's still removable I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna glue it together for the last step mm. yeah so now you know what uh, I have been doing on this model uh, what I'm gonna be doing for the next step is that I'm gonna apply the five the five and purple on the pink pink areas uh, like the toes uh, and around the, the tr uh, trimmings the black where the, the black is painted so uh, to make it less, uh, make it less uh, flat, uh, gonna give it more alive uh, feeling to it. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so that's uh, what I'm gonna be doing for the next part. And after that, I'm gonna apply um, decal, uh, one of these. As you can see, on the uh, on the upper corner, you can see. Uh, the Marcus Slanesh, which I'm gonna apply on the power fist on the, his left arm. Here, here I'm gonna apply it where where it's uh, open area to be used. So I, I think I'm also gonna be painting a li little thin line of Leviathan purple here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and maybe a bit on the other side as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so and now you know what I'm gonna be doing, uh, doing for step five. So see you in a second.
I will massacre all I find! 